strong to keep. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Oh, it's been ages since I've been back to YouTube. So today we're trying the DJI action camera. I bought it five days ago and I'm gonna bring some videos about it. It's not gonna be a review, it's gonna be just, there you go, live footage and video. How it performed this little camera in action. That's why it's DJI action. So I've already took it for a diving. I did some snorkeling as well and yeah so far so impressed to be honest because first of all what I'm recording at the moment is on 2.7k so it's not on 4k just because I want to save some battery second I don't think it's needed at the moment but it's kind of a type of vlogging and uh, I record on the normal setting so there's no DC like or any like compression it's a rock steady at the moment, the setting, and yeah, this is it. It's basically on the magnet which is supposed to go around your neck, but it's around my hand, so I don't lose it when I swim. And uh, as I mentioned, there you go, I went for some diving. depth of 7.1 meter because here with these rocks it's very shallow so it's not much deep places to go and dive I took only the small unit I didn't took the front view screen which is with extra power and the SD card because for this you're gonna need a diving underwater case because the second part of the camera it's not waterproof this one just the top unit it's up to 10 meters it's working absolutely fine with using swimming pool snorkeling diving anywhere and the sound and the picture is just amazing coming directly from the camera seriously I mean you can easily just save your videos as they are and you have wonderful memories now it depends what you're filming apart from the as I mentioned sound what I'm using at the moment is the microphones directly in the camera because of course I can bring mic in the water and I don't have a clue how it's gonna sound but however I will post this video anyway so you can see the full picture I will not edit the video I will not do any color processing anything at all just so you come directly and see how DJI action perform uh, what else should I say yes I mentioned before and I'll mention again I bought the camera I bought the whole gear I got the microphone as well the DJI microphone uh, everything is purchased there's no sponsored video so anything what you see about this camera in the next couple of videos is going to be my personal opinion of how it's performing my usage or what I like to use it and then you can make your mind if you want to get it in my personal opinion if you ask me I think it's absolutely worth to have something like this in your pocket because for me I think it's the smallest vlogging kit you can ever create with the best quality which you can get from a small camera like that I know some of you may say I can vlog on my phone I can have my small camera fair enough but this one is always in your pocket easy to work out fantastic I think I'm hoping it's a fantastic sound quality but far what I've seen so far like as the recording under the water or in the swimming pool or just around it's absolutely wonderful as you can see there's not much wind anyway where I am so we're just staying in this lovely hotel there behind with my kids and wife and the whole family and yeah let's go for a little snorkeling and see what's happening I'll see you under the water in a second <laughs> Thank you. 
That was good. Yesterday I dived here and uh, obviously diving was easier to go just down and stay next to the statue. <laughs> that was good. Oh my gosh, my ear. Having a black pearl coming. Pirates of the Caribbean, anybody found? There you go. It's coming there. Oh my gosh. Let's clean this mask. So yeah guys, I hope you're enjoying so far what's happening with this little camera. I'm so happy to have it with me because I can just swim around, switch it on when I want, switch it off. Obviously it doesn't overheat when it's in the water, because it's cooling down. And uh, nice and easy. I should get probably the underwater case, so I can have the front view as well, screen, so I can see what is happening. And obviously give a more battery because I can get so much more minutes of recording with the second screen, but didn't think about it in time. It was too late, it was time to fly, so yeah, we're just gonna deal with the top one. But I bloody love it, so yeah, let's go again. some lunch now with a drink so yeah boys and girls if you're going on holiday or you're traveling or you just want something small in your pocket keep memories and don't worry about the water and any other condition keep your action fantastic I couldn't change any of the screen resolution, any settings, anything, the touch screen. And I was thinking it's probably because of the pressure under the water, you know, 6-7 meters, it's a lot of pressure on the screen. But I guess it's just because of the touch screen, kind of the connection between the finger and the camera in the water, it doesn't do the same like on the surface. So I don't know if it's need some many special gloves for it. But I've just tried with uh, snorkeling and I was literally, what, half a meter under the water and I can't change anything on the screen. So I think it's no enough pressure because of the water between the finger and the screen. So I'm gonna figure it out, but that doesn't, you know, doesn't stop me. So if I go for a dive again, which I will do, I'll make sure the camera is set up in advance on the setting which I want. If you're snorkeling, you can stop, change settings, take a picture or a video, whatever you decide. Change setting again, go under the water. So, absolutely worth it. So, back to swimming. Look at you, swimming in the sea. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. 
we're floating. I'm floating sight up in the sea. Yeah, we're floating. But I can't touch the ground because I can't fall. <laughs> you can't fall. No, because I keep floating. You keep floating, yeah. So I know. Should we go to the rocks there? Yeah! Oh, look who's here! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs>